hey 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 welcome to my channel my name is Paula and in today's video let's make a handbag comparison the stars of this video are my Celine Triumph wallet on a chain bag and my Saint Laurent monogram clutch bag and the reason why I'm making this comparison is because I need to understand are these two similar which will lead to the question of do i need both so let's see what the end result is i have made separate review videos of both of these bags uh my saint laurent monogram clutch bag is now i think two years old bit bit more than two years old i have made quite many videos so i will not go into like too much uh details and specific in this one so if you are more curious to know precisely only about this i will link all the videos i've made of this one in the description box down there so you can go and have a look and pick whatever you want to see unboxing first impressions uh first year review like how how this has shown war where and so on so so this is this is the one that I had first. This is the one that doesn't have a crossbody strap. It comes with a wristlet. My Celine Triumph walk is the, the newest baby in my collection. I, I just got so obsessed with the Celine Triumph line and I was so happy when this bag came out, I think in the like autumn 2022 or so. And then I like understood that my fixation could actually go into this and I could save a bit of money compared to the bigger sizes of this one. Um, but yeah, so this I have now owned for maybe three months-ish or so. And I was just looking at my bag storage the other day. I was kind of like, hmm, are they pretty much for the same purpose? In a way, this does not have a crossbody strap, but I do show in my review videos how I turn this into a crossbody bag. So that's really not an issue. And yeah, I do that without an insert. So it does not take any extra like capacity from this one. Um, so I was kind of looking at, would this in a way do the same thing for me? Like, especially, some of you might know that this bag size comes with a chain strap, not a leather one. So I have been using this with the leather strap. I just, I'm lazy. I couldn't really bother switching it up to the chain one for now. But especially with the chain version, I feel like it, it gives it a bit of like a festive um, evening look. Or it will definitely be evening appropriate. And as this is a clutch bag with still like very classic elegant features, I feel like this can also be definitely used in an evening situation. So kind of like, hmm, are they truly too similar? Let's find out. I think we can start with the sizing. So of course you get the actual measurements from each of their websites, but just Let's play, play along. So if I put them like this, you maybe are able to see that the Saint Laurent piece is actually longer. And when we put them side to side, you can see that the Celine one is wider, definitely wider from the base over there. And then also from the bottom, the Celine one is wider. So like even though this is longer, like this way, this still like probably the capacity is bigger, but we can test that fairly easily, can't we? I have now stuffed this Celine version with the things I usually tend to carry in this. So this is all I take with me probably on like an everyday basis of course to work i take more but when i'm talking about handbags this is the minimum i require so let's let's have a look if you watched the review video of this it won't come as a surprise of uh, as of what i carry in this but lip products airpod 
home keys in my Louis Vuitton key pouch. Celine flat card holder. And then iPhone, iPhone 11, like so. So all of this, I managed to get into the Celine version. Let's test how far along I get with the Saint Laurent one. This is what it looks like on the inside. Uh, the Celine does have six card slots. This has a nothing, only a flat pocket on the back, but otherwise it's just an open space. We'll start with the phone case. Then we go with the card slots, keys, lip product, AirPods. Let's see. Nope, not like that. I closed it. Let's see what we have in here. So here we have it. The lip product, AirPods, key pouch, card holder, phone case. That's it. And they actually fit in here better than to the Celine one. Or let's say it that way, that I could have fit even more things in here than to the Celine one. So that's definitely something to consider, that the Saint Laurent monogram clutch has bigger capacity than the Celine Triumph bag. Would you have imagined that? I don't know what I was expecting. I probably was thinking that because this is like, wider that this would fit a bit more than than this one but uh yeah this like there is like the gussets over here so you can try to squeeze in fairly like a big amount of stuff if you want to into this one and especially when this can be turned into a crossbody uh as well like this this works really well and I feel like this is an, an excellent uh, contestant for the Saint Laurent Vox because this is like have the price and it fits quite a lot of things. Price wise though, um, the most recent price increase made the Celine bag cost 1350 euros. So for a designer leather, full leather wok, that's not really a bad price I feel like comparing it to others versus this one i i might be in a bit unfair situation because when i purchased this matches fashion still gave out 20 percent discount codes that worked on saint laurent so i got this for um i think i paid around like 400 40 euros or something and now I will need to check what the current retail price for this one is and I will put it on the screen but this will still be like more less than half the price of the Celine one so if I would think this on a rational way this is less expensive this fits more Hmm, interesting factor. If we go like deep into the, the details itself. So this has a beautiful Celine logo on the front and no other branding. Saint Laurent has a beautiful logo on the front, no other branding in itself. This leather, maybe you can see the texture of it. This is durable. Like I have had this now for a bit over two years and this shows zero wear on the leather. And I'm looking at the logo. It has some like teeny tiny hairline scratches, but I think that's, that's what happens with hardware. But all in all, like I have used this a fair amount and it shows nowhere whatsoever. The Celine, on the other hand, hopefully doesn't show anywhere because this is so new still. I'll show also from the back side. This is super smooth leather. Obviously feels very luxurious and so on, but um, 
I would not call this leather delicate. I'm pretty sure that there will be a day when I scratch it, either with my like rings or it gets caught on something or someone bumps into me or, or something and it will show wear. So even though I have had this only for a few months and mine does not have any scratches yet, I would still dare to say that the Saint Laurent one has a lot more durable leather and thus can be used in a more carefree way. So let's see, what does this bag have going for it? Price point, how much it fits, what, how durable is the leather? Uh -huh. uh, I happen to have them both in black with gold hardware. Maybe I would feel differently if this would not be black with gold hardware, but as it is, I kind of feel hmm, that they, they serve the same purpose. I kind of feel that. I think one big uh, difference when it comes to these two that I feel like is for the triumph of the Celine bag is the fact that this is a crossbody bag to begin with. Because even though this can be turned into a crossbody bag very easily, and as mentioned, no need to buy any additional inserts or anything, um, it is still a hassle when it is not originally a crossbody bag. And I know that some people have gone to a cobbler or such and ask them to create a similar type of D-ring on the other side and then that's it. You don't even need to do any hassle with it and it just works as a crossbody bag, no problems. Um, but as I have not done that to, to this one, it's still like when, when the bag itself has these loops that you can attach a strap, it removes some kind of not really anxiety, but stress when wearing the bag that you are using it as it is intended versus with this one, you always need to be a bit cautious unless you go to a cobbler and create more D-rings over there. So I think that's definitely something that the Celine one has going on. But is that worth the massive price difference? Oh, I did not really expect to to the differences to be so much, let's say, on the Saint Laurent's favor. I don't know if that's accurate or really the word that I am truly looking for, but certain things seem to be going on well with the Saint Laurent one versus the Celine one. And this does not make my decision any easier because I'm definitely not letting go of the Celine one. I just got it. I love it. I use it as a handbag, not as a clutch or evening bag or anything like that. I use it not daily, but like when I do some errands on the weekends, whatnot, I use this as a like proper handbag. Versus with this, um, I have used it as like a handbag as well. But nowadays I've actually truly used it as a clutch. So I've used the wristlet, I've just taken it as it is, so through my wrist and then carrying it like this. Um, so maybe they are not really competing for me uh, now that it comes to the purpose of the bag, but I don't know, if you are in the market for a black, small-ish clutch or bag, I mean, this becomes a clutch when you remove the strap, uh, here you have two pretty good contenders for that race and I have to say based on this like if you value practicality the Saint Laurent is pretty high up on that list but all in all I would say I would always recommend the one that you feel more drawn to because it won't help at all if the other one was less expensive or bigger or du more durable if you still preferred the look of the other one. So yeah, I don't know if this actually helped at all because I did not come to any proper conclusions. Maybe the proper conclusion for me is that at least not yet, I'm not in any type of rush to get rid of this one because I just said I have different purposes for these two. 
so I can relax and put these back into their storage or oh, it's not that sounds bad on their own own place and then just like take one over the other when when I feel like using it I did not know where this comparison would truly end I did plan a bit but actually like going through the different elements I did not really know where I would end up so yeah also a learning process for me I guess thank you for watching see you in my next video bye